how to grow as an artist. Today I want to paint this girl with flowers growing off of her hair. I'm painting this out of my memory to see if I can paint without a reference. The paper was damaged because I sketched this directly on the watercolor paper. So the paint kind of like has a smudgy texture on it. But still I continue to paint it. Kept adding colors and some yellow color like it's um, shining a light on the bottom part. <sighs> Should I continue? Shelby is thinking whether or not she should continue this painting. I tried to fix her eyes because maybe um, if I fix her eyes, it will look better. But honestly, this is not what I imagined. This is not what I pictured, but I really want this painting to work. Finally, Shelby learned it to let it go. I list down all the mistakes that I have done from my previous painting. And now I'm going to redo it by tracing the drawing that I did onto a new piece of paper. As a beginner, I believe that we learn not by learning new techniques but by making mistakes and then writing them down on a journal so that on our next painting, we will know what we should or not do with our painting. to paint again. I am using a number 12 and a number 10 paintbrush whenever I'm painting. I use number 12 for blending and adding water. Then the number 10 is for the pigments. I use the wet on wet technique. I mixed raw sienna and a little bit of cadmium red for her skin tone, leaving the white areas, leaving the light areas white. I kind of want her hair to look white, but since I retraced this with a carbon paper, and since this I'm using watercolor, it's kinda hard to leave it just white because of the outlines. I can do that but I think I won't. I want her to look like just a soft, gentle girl. So instead of leaving it white, I will just do a light color on her hair. I, al I already added the first layer on her hair. For the second layer, I added some uh, pink on the mixture of the first layer which is raw sienna and cadmium red and I'm adding it on her cheeks and on her eyelid and some of and some on, uh, on her forehead and chin.
first layer is kind of hard because it got you thinking what would it look like would it look good in the end that is why it is also important to take a short break now i'm just outlining the important features of her face like the eyes and nostril or basically i'm just adding shadows comment below if you want a full watercolor portrait tutorial learn to not give up and try again is what shelby did you'll see a beautiful result in the end It's okay if the process may take too long, but just be still, be patient, and trust the process. Work little by little, work with grace. Just enjoy the moment.
See the magic of not giving up.